Thank uh, Vic and Shelly McFillin who are here. They're the ones that donated this car to the Friends of the Norwalk Foundation for our cause. And that uh, was a very generous gift. Thank you. Um, personally, I got kind of attached to this car, and I'm going to be sorry to see it go because it's been a lot of fun. You know, we had the option to, uh, to sell it, to auction it, or to raffle it. And we thought raffling was the best way because it would give everybody a chance to win the car. It would also give us a chance to raise some money towards the Norwalk project. For those of you who are familiar with the Norwalk car, it was built in Martinsburg and it's the only known surviving car. We would have had it out here this weekend, except for the weather was pretty bad. As you can tell, we sold a lot of tickets. Um, we want to thank everybody that helped, whether you bought a $5 ticket or $500 worth of tickets. Every bit of it is going to pay off the Norwalk car. Um, and I want to thank everybody here and across the country. We did some national advertising. We had some tickets as far away as Hawaii, Alaska, and Canada. Um, a lot of people showed interest. I think we had tickets from, what, every state before? Yes. And um, without any further ado, I want to thank John Unger for this West Virginia Senator. He's a friend of the community. He's been a friend of ours. He's done an awful lot for Berkeley County and for the state of West Virginia. And uh, he's just a gentleman and a scholar and I want to thank him for being here. <laughs> so here they say I'm a friend and so it has a, has, I'm honored to be able to draw the ticket but I told him that by drawing the ticket I make one person happy it looks like about 2,000 people unhappy. As an elected official, that's not very good odds. <laughs> so, I wonder what they do with their enemies with their <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Kraft from Shepherdstown, West Virginia. Chuck Kraft. I want to thank everybody for braving this weather. It was kind of a crummy weekend, but... We'll see you next year with some more exciting things to do.